This video will instruct you how to mark time. This is Jason Petty, the baritone section leader, and my name is Aaron Gross, one of the drum majors. The purpose of marking time is to maintain the pulse of the music and to prepare for your next movement. Marking time begins on the last eighth note of the prep beats. While keeping your toes on the ground, lift your left heel up two inches, the size of a golf ball. Your heel will then hit the ground on beat one of the next measure. Your right heel should lift up to the same height starting on beat one. It should reach its highest point on the AND of beat one and hit on beat two. Here is an example of marking time. Dut, 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 and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Your posture while you're marking time is very important because it controls your breathing and your playing. You want to keep your upper body completely stationary while your lower body does all of the work. The artist on top and the athlete on the bottom. You want to keep your body straight and tall with your shoulders, your hips, and your feet all in a line. A very nice straight line. And that will make sure that your breathing and your playing is great. Hello and welcome to this Marching Scarlet Knights tutorial for forward marching. I'm Todd, Trumpet Co-Section Leader. This is Carrie, Clarinet Section Leader. Forward marching is very important as much of our marching is done with forward marching. So in forward marching, our left foot moves first. We anticipate on the four and count and push off with our right leg to explode with our left. This is what it looks like. Da, 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 and one. This is a standard 8 to 5 step. The black tape marking, equivalent to 22 and a half inches, is even with the center of her left foot. Her body weight is centered between her left heel and right toe, which are both on the ground. In order to forward march properly, you need to roll through the foot with your legs crossing on the end counts. This is what your roll step should look like. This video will instruct you on how to backward march. This is Jason Petty, the baritone section leader, and my name is Aaron Gross, one of the drum majors. Backward marching is used whenever you need to reach a dot that is behind you. To start, you should get on the platforms of your feet on the last eighth count of the prep beats. The platform of your foot includes the toes and the balls of your feet, and this forms a flat rectangle. You should distribute your weight evenly across your whole platform to maintain excellent balance. During the movement, your left foot should glide backwards and hit on beat one. Your foot should just graze the ground and not scrape across it. And one. You should push off for each step with the foot which is not currently moving backwards. This will give your step the energy to stay in time and reach a full size step. Also, you want your steps to stay parallel. You don't want your feet to swing out while they're moving backwards. Remember to maintain good posture, keeping your back straight. The tendency is to get smaller as you move backwards, but this will make it hard to reach a full-size step. So, instead, make yourself as tall as you can, thinking of a puppet whose strings are being pulled up, and keep your platform stable to stay the same elevation until the end of the move. Welcome to the Marching Scarlet Knights tutorial on the chip system. This is Wes Brown, he's one of our drum majors. My name is Michael Brisky, I'm one of the trombone section leaders. The purpose of using the chip system is to aid in the learning of drill, and you want to make sure you use it as a guideline, not as a crutch. First off, you want to find your dot um, on the page, go to that spot in the field, and then step on it, putting the chip in the inner arches of your feet. When you're ready to move on to the next dot, 
find that spot on the field, put down the chip, and await further instructions. You want to make sure when you're using the chip system um, that you're guiding to the form, that you're using your peripheral vision, and that you're not looking down at the ground to find where your chip is. Thank you.